Hi, welcome to another Tormont podcast. You're here with Bruce Darling, Repair Options Marketing Specialist. Um, today I want to talk about rebuild, option, or rebuild options and when you should consider them. So you have an old machine and you're planning to replace it. So what are your options? You know what, Bruce, I can't just get rid of it. She's my old girl. She's near to my heart. I want to keep her. What, am I, what can I do with it? Well, you can certainly rebuild it. Um, manufacturers such as Caterpillar can rebuild your machine for 30 to 70% of the price of new. That's pretty cool. I understand there's some different options we have, right? I mean, there's new ones, there's used ones. I guess you could rent it. And you're saying there's another option, rebuild? Yep. Awesome. Okay. So today, we really want to talk about when does it make sense to rebuild? So some of these factors uh, to consider is the price of new versus the rebuild cost, um, the resale value of the new versus old, and then as well technology things. As we get newer machines, we get greater fuel efficiency as well as greater production. In fact, with fuel efficiency between generations, you can see 5 to 15% gains, and in production, you can say, say see 5 to 25%. Bruce, so, that, go ahead, Brian. Sorry. I was going to say, so when you talked about new versus rebuild cost, mm -hmm. is there a rule of thumb that you kind of go by versus, you know, if I'm looking at a million dollar machine, brand new, mm -hmm. my old machine, if it's going to cost me 700000 does it make sense? Or 500000 is there a rule of thumb? Um, typically, the larger the machine, the better. So around a half a million dollar machine, it really starts to make sense to run the numbers to see if it makes sense to rebuild. Okay. Bruce, you touched on some really key features there, and you're trying to differentiate with those factors of, hey, do I consider rebuilding or do I look at buying new? Because that's kind of the, mm -hmm. the, the crux of that discussion you're trying to have with the, is your, with yourself. So you said the resale value. That, I could see how that's important because you have to look at that with a new piece. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, the one that really I'm kind of staring at here is the fuel economy. So I guess you really have to do the math to see if that makes sense. Because if a new machine, let's say, has a... 10% improvement in fuel economy versus my current machine. She may be dear to my heart, mm -hmm. but we need to do the math to make sure that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. When you get, typically with a new machine, if you have around 15% fuel efficiency, that's almost your PMs for that whole entire year on that machine that's based point. on your fuel, fuel savings. So a technology jump would be a major factor. Consider whether I go new or stay with a rebuild option. Absolutely. Okay. Now, the other way to look at this, and it's important too, is company factors. Are you a growing business? If you're a growing business, it might make sense to take event, take this opportunity to buy new. Um, if you are staying with the same crushing plant, and it doesn't matter if you get a new machine that has more production, and it's the same crusher, it, it makes sense to just rebuild that machine. That makes a lot of sense. So Either if I'm doing a million tons a year and I'm going to continue doing a million tons a year and I don't think I'm going to ever go to two million tons a year, stick with what I got. Exactly. You know it. Your your operators are comfortable with it. You're going to get the maximum production out of it. And you get less capital invested if you rebuild it, Brian. That's right. Another factor to consider with rebuilds um, is tax advantages or disadvantages. Um, depending on how thorough your rebuild is, you can actually get a new serial number for that machine. So it's technically like a new machine. Yeah, exactly. And that can really impact how you depreciate the, the machine's value. That's interesting. Okay. And finally, we should really talk about is uh, safety. With newer technology, it usually comes safer machines. If you have a really old machine, it may be a bit rickety. You may be able to rebuild it, but are you sacrificing an opportunity to improve your safety? So maybe new things like secondary braking systems or... Backup cameras. Backup cameras mm -hmm. or warning devices or... I mean, there's a myriad of things we could talk about here. How about just fixing the horn during the rebuild? That usually <laughs> helps too. <laughs> well, you bring up a great point, uh, Jim. Like, you really can add the reversible camera at the re point of the rebuild as well, um, as well as uh, other things like uh, seatbelt alarms and maybe even some telematics. There's definitely options out there. That's pretty cool. I know sometimes we dismiss rebuilding way too quickly. I think it's something more and more should strongly consider. After all, the, the tractors are built to be rebuilt. Exactly. Bruce, with the rebuilds, do they come with warranties? Um, yeah. Uh, some manufacturers will supply warranties on new machines. Uh, a manufacturer like CAT actually has warranties available for their rebuilds. Is it Now, is it specific to the machine or... and? Any idea of how long these warranties would last? Um, it's uh, specific to the machine, and they range as just like a new machine uh, from three or five thousand all the way up to ten thousand hours. 
You got lots of choices is the bottom line. Exactly. Cool. So you're saying the larger the machine, the more expensive the machine, the more opportunity that there would be for rebuild. Exactly. And the more you use it, the better. So Higher if we, utilization. If we speak Caterpillar for a second, I guess what you're trying to say is if you have like a 980, maybe a 972, or maybe some larger excavators, that's kind of the, really the target market we would look at first for some kind of a rebuild. Exactly. Excellent. Bruce, awesome. appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Anytime. Take care.